we have some breaking news because at the time of recording this it is April 20th the day that Apple made their event Apple event a spring Apple event of everything they announced and we're gonna do a quick breakdown just like we've done the, in the last couple of times so I normally do this on an iPhone event but I mean there is like something iPhone related and I also said plus some other cool things. So we're gonna dive into this. Starting with the iPhone 12, a new purple color. So that is very awesome. I mean, I I, I would I did not like uh, think it's like very like uh, like uh, necessary, but hey, it's cool to see the it, it, in purple. And I'm uh, because what because iPhone 11 was purple, but I think this one is like a different and nicer. Uh, type of purple so it is uh, very awesome to see that so like not something that people will buzz about but, but yeah speaking of things that people won't buzz about AirTag this was the most forgettable thing I had uh, like uh, in my head throughout the entire show uh, so it's like a key like it's a it's a key slip on the back of your iPhone that you can use to uh, find like all the other uh, all the other like uh, stuff that you own, like your keys, like car keys, for example. But yeah, I don't really have much to say about this one, so yeah. But next up, the new Apple TV 4K. This one is a big revolution, considering that it now has the A12 Bionic, uh, which is on the uh, newer iPhones, and it has a brand new remote brand new Apple TV remote which and that thing looks weird but at the same time it also looks amazing so I can uh, I can say now that I've never wanted an Apple TV so badly because I've always wanted to try out like like tvOS 4 and beyond so I'm still stuck with the old Apple TV interface but make deal the way you got right anyways the new iMac oh my goodness was this thing a banger to see so basically it has a brand new design and it is it has the m1 uh, m1 chip and it has like it's like it's like almost like edge to edge now in the 24 inch so so yeah uh, so there isn't a as uh, there isn't a 21.5 inch and the starter price is the same price as the starter price for the 21.5 last gen so that is a hell of a deal. Great job on you, Apple. For once, you don't actually just care about money. <laughs> but of course, the, the the Macintosh is what made Apple to what they are today. And like, and I mean, the Mac brand has been kicking some booty for the last almost 40 years. So it's great to see that tri treatment. So, yeah, I mean, like, like you can see like these amazing designs so yeah that's very cool and finally the last thing that was announced the brand new iPad Pros the 11 inch and 12.9 inch so they have the new display liquid retina XDR display which just feels like that just feels lazy like to be honest like it's one of the laziest like namings I've ever heard of but yeah like it, like it's it's and it does have the a uh, it has 5G it has the lidar sensor uh, from the previous iterations of iPhone of iPhone of i of the iPad Pro and the uh, iPhone 12 it has the 5G uh, that is from the iPhone 12 and of course you have the good old Apple Pencil Magic Keyboard and the new Smart Keyboard Folio and it has support for the M1 chip like this thing is gonna go crazy. Next thing you know, they're gonna put it in their iPhones next. <laughs> Anyways, so yeah. Uh, so now we'll talk about the price of owning each one. So, yeah. So credit cards are a good thing there. First, the Apple TV 4K with its uh, brand new amazing remote. For 32 gigabytes, it will cost $179. For 64 gigs, it will be... $199, which is very strange to me. Like, why? I mean, it's just a $20 difference. Why not just cut the 30, uh, 32 gigs and uh, make the uh, 
and make the 64 gigs 179 and make a 128 gig model uh, for uh, like 209 dollars like that is a deal like i know like people say clyde you're increasing money but i feel like uh, at the end of the day that's something that apple would do they will say like oh it's a deal but it's not really a deal it's just a cash grab <laughs> for the apple tv 4k i forgot to say when it the or you can order the order it on the 30th and will be available on the second half of may so the air tag will be um the ordering will start at uh, on the 23rd of april so yeah i mean they don't say when it's actually available but so yeah the uh you can buy one pack for thirty dollars or four packs of them for a hundred dollars which is insane for a small tag on the back of your phone next up i mean i was about to say that the price of the like uh iPhone, but it's still the same price as it was when it was first revealed, so there isn't much to say there. The iPad Pros, they're all, all also exactly the same price, but they they made the 12.9 from 1,000 to 1,100. Absolutely no reason, and that's the starting price. So yeah, the 11 inch is still 800, and they will also be available on. No, they'll be available in the second half of May and you can order them on the 30th of April so and finally the uh, the amazing IMAX uh, so yeah like I did say that uh, the starting price is the same as the last gen 21.5 inch uh, IMAX and that is true because uh, with the M1 chip and an 8 core CPU and 7 core GPU uh, the 24-inch uh, iMac starts at $1,300, which is a deal in terms of iMac specs. Um, with the 8-core GPU uh, and 256GB uh, of storage, it will be $1,500. And uh, with the same thing, but 512GB of storage, it will be $1,700. Or you can order on the 30th of April, and it will be available on the second half of May. And that is it for the uh, event. Honestly, like, it, it was good. Like, don't get me wrong. It was amazing. Like, I liked I liked the presentation. It was good, but uh, there were, like, some parts that I did not really, like, enjoy. The uh, air tag part definitely dragged on a bit too long. But at the end of the day, we got some Apple products, boys and girls. So... So yeah, that is your breaking news highlight. So thank you guys for watching. And if this was uploaded the day, the day after, then and if you stu stuck all the way through, then this was filmed on the 20th of April. As mentioned in the beginning. <laughs> See you guys later. Peace.